Hey there, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about AdWords dynamic URL parameters or value track parameters, and I'm super excited to share this with you. So, if this is the first time you're watching an Ad Skills video, my name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and we're super excited to have you. So, value track parameters are possibly the most useful feature in AdWords that's really poorly explained. And that's exactly why I put this tutorial together. Now, this is a complicated topic, so it may take you a couple of times of going through this and maybe asking me some questions in the comments of the Pro League forum to help you get your brain wrapped around it. But understand, these are super important and valuable pieces of information that Value Track can help you get. So, what it is, we use standard UTM tracking with all of our marketing here at Ad Skills, and we teach our customers to do the same. If you're not already doing that, please go check out Tracking 101. It's the course that will teach you all the fundamentals you need. It's a pay what you want course. We just want to help you get started off on the right foot. What this allows you to do is add extra what we call click context to your UTM parameters. So your, camp, your medium, your source, your campaign, your content, and your term. And what it allows you to do is put pre-built parameters that are dynamically populated. So you can look at things like device, your placement, the creative, the keyword that someone searched for, the position of the ad, all of those little details, or you can create custom parameters and have them dynamically added to your UTM tracking live out in the wild. And why this is so great is it makes your Google Analytics and CRM information more useful. So it allows you to actually determine which specifics are causing more conversions and more, more sales and more profit for your business. So what do you need to use them? Well, you have to have a Google AdWords account and understanding basically of how value track works and a tracking template. Now, when I say an understanding, basically, you need the, the core fundamentals, but I've always found you just need to go start testing this and see what the data looks like and how you can play around with it to, to really utilize it in your business. And secondly, I'm going to give you our tracking template so you've got a place to begin with. You can look at the data and go through and start tweaking things to help it be more useful for you. So let me explain quickly what is value track. So value track is a way to dynamically insert information into the tracking query after your landing page. So when I talk about your landing page, this here, the LP URL, this is your landing page URL that we'll use inside of AdWords. So if ours is adskills.com, that would be the landing page URL. The query is everything that comes after the question mark. And so what, what can be after the question mark? Well, you can use custom parameters, uh, like Wicked ID, if you use Wicked Reports, that's a, you know, one of their custom parameters. And these are really helpful. It's, it's usually things that are specific for your CRM or your backend that it can pull specific pieces of information and store it with a contact. Um, from the UTM side in Google Analytics, UTM medium, campaign, content, source, term, you know, all the specifics, basically what it's allowing you to do is add more context to where that click came from so you can then go back and determine your results. So pieces of tracking, well, piece one, you've got your parameters. So this is the, you know, the, um, the label, if you will. This is what your CRM or Google Analytics recognizes that it can say, okay, this was a part of the tracking template. I now know that I'm looking for this. What's the value that comes with it? And that value can either be a variable or a constant. So if our parameter is UTM medium, a constant would be CPC, paid traffic. If we want to do something dynamic, we could use device. So the device in the squiggly, squiggly lines, that is a preset uh, variable by, by Google. And I'll post a link down below that you can go check out all of their pre-built variables to start pulling information. Or if we felt like it, we could go in and create a custom variable where it's underscore and then a particular name. I'll show you how to build these in the actual tutorial portion later. But this is a, you know, building custom variables so we can put whatever we want for a value in there as possible as well. So which parameters should you use? Well, if you're only using Google Analytics, make sure you're using medium source campaign content and term in your tracking template. If you use ours, it's already built in there, so you'll be able to do that. If you're using a CRM and GA, you want to use your UTMs plus CRM parameters. And so Wicked ID is a great example if you're using Wicked Reports. HubSpot's got certain things. Um, Infusionsoft's got specific things. What you're typically going to do with your CRMs is you're going to use hidden fields in your forms that's going to inherit that information from your tracking template to pull it into the back end. So which value should you use for your parameters? Well, we always recommend constants. Our tracking template uses medium of CPC and source of Google. Some people use AdWords. And then for your variables, our UTM campaigns or campaign ID, content, things like ad group ID, device, term, if search, pull in the keyword, if content, pull in the placement, you can do a million different things. Once again, these are just ideas. 
Start with our standard tracking template, see the information that's pulled in, and then you can manipulate as you would like. So where does this information go? Well, you're gonna paste your tracking template when you're building your ads underneath your ad URL options. I'll show you how to do this here in the tutorial, but basically what you're gonna do, you can do this at the account, the campaign, the ad group, or the ad level. I choose to do it at the ad level because I wanna make sure it's put in there every single time the right way. Uh, if you are great with setting it and forgetting it, that's awesome. I, I'm a tracking guy. I have to have the tracking right, so that's why I do it at the ad camp level every single time. Um, once again, your template, all you have to do is add the template in there. You can check the just link description for ours. So what's really important is where does this information show up? Well, in Google Analytics, you've got your source medium report, um, your secondary dimensions. So you're going to pull in source medium, and then you want to look at campaign or ad content or keyword to see the information that's pulled in and how it relates to your conversions or your e-commerce metrics. In your CRM, you're going to have to strip these out of the URL and add them to your contact record, typically through hidden fields in your forms. Um, there's, you know, I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial because it's a huge topic. But that's typically how you go through and you get that information. You make it available in the URL. If Google Analytics can read it, it'll pull it into Google Analytics. And if not, you're going to pull it into your CRM using hidden fields. So let's head over to AdWords and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I'm inside of AdWords now and I've created my tracking, I've added our tracking template in here. And so you can walk through this and see how we've got these set up. What I want to show you right now is if I test this. So if I hover over landing page found, it's going to pull in the whole tracking template and then it's going to look at our attributes. So LP URL, our landing page is adskills.com. Campaign name. So I created a custom campaign right here called test campaign. So it's pulling in the campaign name of test campaign. Ad position is none right now because it's not live out in the wild. Creative is zero. So if I had multiple ads in this, zero is one, one is two, two is three, etc. Device, I'm on a computer right now, so it'll say C. If it was on a, a mobile phone, it'd say M. And if I was on a tablet, it'd say T. No keyword, no placement because it's not in the wild. Displays, false, search is true. Those are the, the defaults for the previews. Uh, whenever it's out in the wild, it will show if it's a display ad, it'll show up as display. If it's search, it'll show up as search. And that's important here because I put if search include the ad position, if content use the placement. So our you know our UTM content is creative device if search. So if it's a search and it's ad position, it'll say something like one t one, which is first page top of page first position, one t two first page top of page second position, and on and on. If it's uh, a display ad, it'll pull in the placement of wherever this was shown. So let's say it showed up on USA Today and was clicked on. That's what we pulled through. So super valuable information, and when you can line this up with your conversion or e-commerce metrics, you can really go through and optimize your campaigns. So once again, this is a ton of information. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet for you, so you have the ability to go in and, and you know start playing around with value track parameters and see how it works with your analytics or uh, your CRM. Um, I know this is a lot to swallow, so whatever questions you have, please feel free to post them down below in the comments or hit me up in the Pro League forum. That's why I respond the fastest and you can answer, you know, we can answer specific questions about your business. So if you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about how to effectively advertise on Google, make sure to check out our Google Ads pathway. It includes our Bulletproof YouTube ads, Bulletproof AdWords ads, and Bulletproof GDN ads courses. And honestly, it's the culmination of my experience when I worked at Google, my time with clients afterwards, and Justin's experience with clients is all wrapped into one. If you want to be successful advertising on Google, this is the number one resource that will help you do it. And if you like free stuff, don't forget to check out the Ad Skills Quarterly Giveaway. The link is in the description. If you like free stuff like Amazon gift cards, Barnes & Noble gift cards, Xbox, PlayStation, and even Bose headphones, make sure to check it out. We give away stuff every quarter, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, little things like that. So don't forget to head over there and enter yourself for a chance to win. Thanks so much, and have an awesome day.